गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू द ई प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ मदर्स इंटरनेशनल अकेडमी आई एम श्वेता पांडे यू मैथ्स टीचर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन क्लास सेवन चैप्टर वन दैट इज इंटीजर स्टूडेंट यू ऑल आर फेमिलियर विद द टॉपिक इंटीजर इंटीजर इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर विथ इट्स नेगेटिव एंड जीरो एग्जाम्पल्स आर माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री एंड सो ऑन आई वॉन्टेड टू जस्ट गिव यू अ रिव्यू अबाउट सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी विच विच हैव टू कीप इन आवर माइंड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज जीरो जीरो इज अ न्यूट्रल नंबर इट मीन्स इट इज ना इज अ पॉजिटिव नॉर अ नेगेटिव नंबर सेकेंड द नेगेटिव नंबर इज ऑलवेज लेस देन जीरो एंड ऑन द नंबर लाइन इट विल ऑलवेज लाइज ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ जीरो whereas the positive number is always greater than 0 and it will lies on the right side of the number line student positive number is always greater than negative number and the biggest negative number has the lowest value i am talking about the biggest ne- uh, negative number has the lowest value it means minus 24 is always less than minus 5 now student i just wanted to give a review about the properties related to integers that first first we have uh, while we have to solve any of the equation or any of the operation then we have to keep in our mind that when two positive integers are added we get a positive number when two negative integers are added it will give a negative integer and the most important thing is additive inverse of an integer is its negative like the additive inverse of 8 is minus 8 and additive inverse of minus 8 is 8 okay now now we will move for some of the properties of addition and subtraction of integer it means what kind of property we going to see a while doing operation of addition and subtraction using the integer so for that you have to focus on the copy now students i am going to discuss you about the properties of addition and subtraction one by one okay when we talk about properties of addition and subtraction the first property we face is the closer property closer property under addition under addition okay the closer property means if we have two integer like x and y if we will take two integer x and y and when we add x plus y and if we get the answer that is also an integer then we can say that the in addition integer is close it means when we take two integer the sum is also integer for example take 5 and minus 2 when we add 5 and minus 2 then we get a answer that is called 3 and that 3 is also an integer so we can say that in for addition integer is close addition for integer addition is closed as the answer is also an integer now the second property is closer under subtraction when we subtract when we subtract then we we will see that whether the property is close or not so for that just take two integers say 7 and 9 we have two integers 7 and 9 and subtract this 7 minus 9 and we got minus 2 is minus 2 is an also an integer yes minus 2 is also a integer so we can also say that closer property followed by integer in the operation of subtraction also because the answer is also an integer when we have taken two integers right now the third property is commutative property commutative property so for that first of all we will see it for addition 
means commutative property is followed in addition or not before that let's let me tell you what is commutative property when we have two integers say a and b okay and when we add a and b that a and b is always equal to b plus a that a plus b is always equal to b plus a for example take 5 and 7 first on lhs 5 plus 7 and rhs 7 plus 5 5 plus 7 is also 12 and 12 7 plus 5 is also 12 so commutative property is true for addition in integers we, you can take any of the example for this property okay now we will see it for subtraction subtraction again we will take two integers say 5 and 7 okay and we have to check whether commutative property is followed for subtraction also or not so for that first of all we will subtract 5 minus 7 and then 7 minus 5 you will find 5 minus 7 is minus 2 and 7 minus 5 is 2 that is never equal so we can say that for subtraction commutative property is not true property is not true in, in integer okay now we will move for the next property that is that we called as associative property associative property okay now associative property so as we have taken two integers in commutative property now for associative property we will take any three integers say a b c according to the associative property if a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c then we can say that it will follow the associative property okay for that now we will move for one example take any example say 1 2 and 3 all these three are integers now for lhs we will just come just uh, arrange it as 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 now you can see 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 5 and 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 and this one is 6 is equal to 6 it means for addition associative property associative property is true right is true the same we will see it for subtraction now for the same pro, uh, uh, example we will see it for subtraction take 1 2 and 3 now associative property will like this a minus b minus c will equal to a minus b minus c this is not the conclusion student i have just given the formula of associative property for subtraction now we will check whether this property is followed for subtraction also or not so we will take example 1 2 and 3 now in lhs we have a that is 1 minus 2 minus 3 and in right side we have 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 by 1 we will solve this 1 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and minus 3 this 1 minus minus plus and this minus 1 minus 3 this will be 2 and this is minus 4 which is never equal okay so now we can conclude that associative property property is not true for subtraction student remember we are talking about integers only okay okay i think associative property is now clear to you all now we will move for the next topic that is additive identity additive identity so before moving toward additive identity i just wanted to you know edit identity is what the identity is the uh, value of any number for example if it is 5 then its identity is 5 if it is 6 its identity is 6 if it is minus 5 its identity is minus 5 now what is additive identity so when we are talking about additive identity additive identity is 
जीरो जीरो इज कॉल्ड एज एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी अब वट डू यू मीन बाई एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी एंड वाई जीरो इज कॉल्ड एज एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू ओके स्टूडेंट फॉर दैट जस्ट सी एन एग्जाम्पल फाइव प्लस जीरो वट इज द वैल्यू फाइव माइनस फाइव प्लस जीरो वट इज द वैल्यू माइनस फाइव सो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व वेन एवर वी एड जीरो विथ एनी ऑफ द इंटीजर इट विल नेवर टेक द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ दैट नंबर इट मीन्स कि द फाइव रिमेन्स फाइव द माइनस फाइव रिमेन्स माइनस फाइव मीन्स आफ्टर एडिंग टू द जीरो दैट नंबर हैज नॉट टेकन द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ दैट नंबर ओके सो दैट्स वाई जीरो इज कॉल्ड एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी इट नेवर हेम्पर्स द वैल्यू ऑफ एनी नंबर इट नेवर चेंज द वैल्यू ऑफ एनी नंबर दैट्स वाई जीरो इज कॉल्ड एज एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी ओके सो अप टू हियर आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम नाउ वी विल मूव फॉर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ इंटीजर मल्टीप्लीकेशन एज वी डू एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन इन इंटीजर अगेन वी विल स्टार्ट मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन इंटीजर एंड फॉर दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू रिमाइंड यू सम ऑफ द रूल्स दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन योर प्रीवियस क्लास दैट वेन एवर प्लस साइन इज ऑपरेटेड विद द मल्टीप्लीकेशन साइन एंड द सेकेंड नंबर इज ऑल्सो प्लस द एंसर विल बी ऑलवेज प्लस द सेम इज वेन माइनस इज देयर एंड माइनस इज देयर द एंसर विल ऑलवेज द प्लस देन प्लस minus is always minus and minus into plus is always minus these uh, these things are very clear to you all as you have already discussed and gone through the examples also in your previous classes now i just wanted to give you one um, i just wanted to remind uh, just give you an uh, review about a multiplication of integer then first is when you multiply a positive integer with a negative integer it means my if a is multiplied by minus b then that is equal to minus b into a that is minus a into b that sign will be common for all as plus sign and minus sign plus sign and minus sign give you a negative answer so this is also a negative answer okay now take an example take 5 and minus 3 okay 5 and minus 3 now we will multiply it 5 now we will multiply 5 and minus 3 so first of all just multiply the numbers that is 5 and 3 and 5 and 3 will give you 15 right 5 is consist of positive sign whereas 3 is consist of negative sign so positive and negative positive and negative will give you a negative sign theek hai now we will move for the next things the next is when you have to multiply two negative numbers two negative numbers means negative into negative for that if we have minus a into minus b okay so first of all we will multiply a into b that is a into b right and this minus sign and minus sign is always positive sign so it will give you a positive answer okay now if you have to find out the product of three or more negative numbers so if you have a bulk of negative numbers and you have to multiply it for that one rule we have to follow that if the numbers of negative number numbers of negative number is in even form even it will give you a positive answer and if it is in odd number then it will give you a negative answer like if minus 2 is Four times. One, two, three, four. Four is an even number, so ultimately it will give you two, four, sixteen, and that will be a positive one. Okay. And if minus two is three times, one, two, three. Three is an odd number. Okay. So eight, and that will be a negative. Okay. So this is about product of integers more than 3 or 3 or 3 or more than 3 okay now we will move for some properties of multiplication as we have gone in addition and subtraction and the first property was closure for multiplication okay so closure again the same topic if a and b are integers 
and if a into b is also an integer then we can call it call that the close uh, multi, for multiplication the integer is closed it means it follows closure property take an example minus 2 3 minus 2 and 3 are integers when we multiply minus 2 and 3 it will give you minus 6 minus 6 is also an integer so we can say that now that for multiplication multiplication integers follow closure property right now the second property is commutative property as we have discussed in addition and subtraction also so the same will be here if a into b is equal to b into a then we can say that it will follow closure property take an example take 2 and minus 3 okay so 2 into minus 3 and in this side minus 3 into 2 this is also also minus 6 and this is also minus 6 so we can say that the commutative property is completely followed an in integer means integers follows commutative property right now we have next property and that property is called associative property associative property for multiplication okay now as we have taken three integers in associative property or additions the same way we will take three integers now so what associative property says associative property says that if associative property says that if a into b into c is equal to a into b into c then we can say that it follows associative property now take example take 1 minus 2 3 okay now put it on LHS 1 into minus 2 into 3 and the same way 1 into minus 2 into 3 1 into that will be minus 6 and this will be minus 2 into 3 this is also minus 6 and this is also minus 6 so we can say that associative pro property is completely followed by integer while mul multiplying okay now we have some more topics that we have to discuss right now is multiplication of any integer by 0 multiplication by 0 so as you all know that whenever we multiply any number whether it is positive or negative with 0 it will always give you a 0 in spite of that is a positive number or negative number it will also will always give you a zero so whenever we multiply any integer by zero it will give you a zero now the next topic is multiplicative identity why is called as multiplicative identity why is that so whenever you will multiply any integer with 1 it will give the same integer it means it will never take the value of that integer you can try it for any integer so 1 is that number which multiply with any integer it will never take the identity of that number that's why it is called as multiplicative identity i hope students i'm very clear up to here now we will move for distributive property distributive property and there are two formula for distributive property first one is addition for addition the distributive property says that that a into b bracket b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c and for add subtraction a into b minus c is equal to a into b minus a into c this is what distributive property says now you can take any example and you can go through the distributive property verification now i will show you one solved 
एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी सी स्टूडेंट हियर माइनस टू एट एंड सिक्स आर इंटीजर्स एंड वी हैव जस्ट फॉलोड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एडिशन एंड बोथ द साइड एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस एंड वी सॉल्व इट इन द बोथ साइड एंड वी गॉट माइनस ट्वेंटी एट माइनस ट्वेंटी एट इन एल एच एस एज वेल एज आर एच एस सो फॉर पॉजिटिव इट इज फॉलोड ना वी विल सी इट फॉर नेगेटिव अगेन वी हैव टेकन द सेम इन टीजर एंड वी हैव जस्ट गोन थ्रू द नेगेटिव ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ एंड दैट माइनस टू इंटू एट माइनस सिक्स एंड माइनस टू इंटू एट माइनस माइनस टू इंटू सिक्स एंड देन वी सॉल्व इट एंड वी गॉट द सेम आंसर ऑन एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस सो वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज फॉलोड बाई इन टीजर्स ओके ना वन टॉपिक इज डिविजन ऑफ इन टीजर ऑफ इन टीजर्स इफ ए एंड बी आर इन टीजर सो ए डिवाइडेड बाई B is equal to some integer, okay? Where B is not equal to zero. If a divided by minus b, then we can write it like a divided by b and with minus sign because this is plus sign, this is minus, and plus minus is always a minus, right? When we Take minus a divided by minus b. So you can write minus a minus b. This two sign will be cancelled. That is a by b. Right? Now when we talk about properties of division, then the uh, usually for division, neither commutative law, neither associative law, neither um, uh, distributive law is followed. You can see as example, if a and b are two integer. then a divided by b is never equal to b divided by a take an example 15 and 5 15 divided by 5 and 5 divided by 15 it will give you 3 and that will give you 1 by 3 that is never equal so in division there is nine, not not a single property which are followed by integers while dividing a integer okay now we will move for some of the properties that some of the things which are very common in division and which you all are knowing that whenever we will divide any integer by 0 any integer by 0 that answer is not defined as we don't have any table of multiplicative table of 0 0 ka koi table nahi hota that that's why it is not defined okay and but when we divide zero by any number that is all that is all, always equal to zero these are two very important thing when you divide any integer by zero that is not defined but you when you will divide zero by any number the answer is zero and remember this thing this is very important okay now next is whenever any number or any integer is divided by 1 that will give you that integer itself okay now this much is, this much was about your chapter integer now student i hope my video will help you to go through the chapter very clearly for any doubts for any um, further query you can just contact in uh, contact me in any time and i just wanted you all to be safe to be at your home and try to study as much as you can take very good care of yourself okay goodbye